and Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all times. Then I thought about humanitarian heroes from the past, like President John F. Kennedy and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Both men were great believers in justice and equality for all Americans. While all, while all of these men are honorable role models, my knowledge of them is limited to what I can see on television and what I can read in a book. So I decided to search for a real life hero. My search led me to a man who, has a, who is as dynamic as John F. Kennedy and who has a dream as great as Dr. King's, a backhand almost as good as Agassiz, and a bald head even balder than Jordan's. <laughs> he is the not so famous man called Michael Hatcher, also known as my father, dad. My father grew up in, Mexi in the Mexican barrios of El Paso, Texas. He was the only black boy in his neighborhood and in his class at school. At an early age, he learned how to speak a foreign language and how to get along with people of other races. My father has always been respectful and friendly to all people because his mother taught him to judge others by their character, not by the color of their skin. These childhood lessons made up the values my dad has carried on into his adult life and passed on to his children. I admire my father for his ability to relate well with people of different cultures and his sincere respect for men of all colors and all races. My father is an intelligent man who is capable of having a job in any one of the tall buildings in downtown Fort Worth. However, his office is just east of downtown in a small rundown building next door to a home shelter. When he looks out of his office window, my dad does not see a beautiful skyline. With his eyes, he sees drug addicts, prostitutes, and mentally ill people. With his heart, he sees lonely, lost, and hurting individuals. As a case manager for the homeless, it is his job to help these people, but my dad goes above and beyond all that. He has extended his beliefs in respecting others to the point of caring for others. When my dad walks down the street, the homeless people do not say, there goes Michael Hatcher, the guy who works in that building. Instead, they say, there goes Michael Hatcher, my friend. The compassion my dad has and the way he gives his dignity and hope to the outcasts of society makes me very proud of him. In, search, in my search for a role model, I chose my father because I know him better than any other person in the world. It is not difficult to emulate the, the man you admire most and know better than anyone else. I know that my father loves me. I know his strengths and I know his weaknesses. I know the sound of his laughter and the sound of his sorrow. I know that he is not perfect but I still think that he's the greatest. Therefore, when I grow up, I hope to be a respectful, compassionate man of integrity, like my father, Michael Hatcher. Amen.